I can't move my face. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cedra Finesse, and I'm back with another motherfucking video, bitch. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cedra Finesse, aka Cedra Finesse, aka That Bitch, period. And I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title, this is my skincare routine. This is a highly requested video. People are always asking me about what I use on my skin. This chair here. People are always asking me what I use on my skin, so I decided to make a skincare routine video. So this is my current skincare routine. If anything changes, I'll be sure to update that with products and um, a routine. This is what my skin looks like. I just woke up, um, just got out of bed. This is what my skin looks like. I just woke up, um, just got out of bed. I'm not gonna fucking cut myself. But my skin does not look dry. It is still moisturized pretty well. Um... Y'all, it is some people outside. Can y'all hear that? It's some people outside. I think they pressure washing the apartments. But look, I don't want to hear that. Rent is too high. Hopefully, I can film this video in peace because I've really been attempting to film this video. I've been attempting to. T I've been attempting to film this video for like 15 minutes already, and Bruno keeps barking, and they keep making noise. So, so. We're gonna be using Indian Healing Clay. This right here. I don't know if y'all can see that little powder coming out, but it's coming out. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. We're gonna be using some coconut oil. My jar is very low, okay? Cause I use this shit like crack. Um, Some astringent, astringent, however you say this fucking shit, I'm using it. And I got my black soap in a little bit blocky bag, but you don't know this should be messy. But I got it in this black bag. All right, so you're gonna need a bowl and a spoon, and also your Indian healing clay. Um, I saw so many videos about this, and I decided to go ahead and cop, and it changed my life. So I'm about to share it with y'all. So me, I personally don't do measurements. But um, you can either mix it with water or apple cider vinegar. I decided that apple cider vinegar was gonna be best for me. Um, I just wanted to get the whole full experiences. So you're supposed to do like some type of measurement, but me, I don't do, I don't do measurements. I'm not really well with that. I'm not good with that. So we're just gonna pour some, oh shit. <laughs> pour some in there and kind of eyeball. And I pour less than too much. I mean, either way you can fix and get the desired consistency, but. So now I'm about to apply it to my face. I don't know if I should use a spoon. I use a spoon. <laughs> I'm going to use a spoon, sis. Alright, so it's kind of cold. Oh, 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 
I use this mask, I couldn't fucking move my face. And usually, like, of course, masks get tight, you know, but me, I literally, it, it, I couldn't move my face. So I'm just giving y'all a forewarning. Literally on here, it says, feel your face pulsate. It literally feels like your face has a heartbeat. It's so weird, but refreshing. Um, it says, it says five to 10 minutes. So we might keep it on for a little cool 15. And then I'll come back as soon as it's dry and show y'all how much of an idiot I look like. So I'm just trying to eat while my mask dry. This is so motherfucking good, bro. Wow. I put my fucking ankle in that bitch. Oh, shit. I gotta take small bites because this fucking mask is tight. <laughs> I can't even laugh, bro. <laughs> Don't eat while your mask is on. Don't move too much because it's chipping and it fell into my fucking spaghetti. So, don't recommend. <laughs> I can't move my face. This shit is so tight. It's time to take it off. Now just to let y'all know that um, when you are wiping this off, it does take a little bit of pressure, a little bit of time, some more water, okay? Because it's on there, it's on there great, it's on there good. So we just wanna make sure we get all of it off. So well, let's do that. Think I can fly. It literally feels like I have scales. I've been a wretch in love for pride. I see a billion dollars in your eyes. Even if we're strangers till we die. So far, so I'm literally just gonna wet my skin and wet my bar, create some lather, and then um, use my hands from there. I don't have any other methods, or if you have any other suggestions on how to do it, then I would gladly take them in the comments. But let's get doing it. again with some like medium water if that's what you call it I guess like lukewarm but not really like a little bit warmer than lukewarm so like medium yeah so we're gonna rinse our face off with some medium water and I'll be right back Astringent, estrogen, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just say it how I think it's pronounced. But it's witch hazel. Um, this is going to make sure I get any um, dirt that I can't see. Like, make sure I get all of those areas clean. <laughs> And last but not least, we're gonna use our coconut oil. I get mine from grocery store or wherever. Um, I'm very low, as you can see. I use this shit like crack. 
but this is one of my favorites. Favorite, favorite products. I use it on my body, I use it on my face, wherever it's gonna be soft. I don't use a lot because coconut oil does melt as soon as it touches your skin, so just kind of put a little bit and just make it spread, so. Okay, I'll be too much. looking kind of red and kind of crazy but after the redness calmed down this is what my skin looks like my skin looks flawless what do you think what do you think what do you think let's get into it though and i don't even have no light in here like my window not open i don't have no light on and i don't have my filming light on this is just pure natural real Skin. Period. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.